Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we're going to do part one of the cylinder head installation. Now if, um, the first thing we did is we we cleaned this all up and made it perfectly clean and cleaned this all off with brake clean and um, I did want to show you something that I noticed as I was uh, working on this head and that is right here along the exhaust valve and right over here there's a little bit of marring where it looks like a, the piston had come up and hit that head so whoever had this head before me uh, they must have thrown a rod and the piston came up and hit the head probably bent the valves because on the intake side I noticed that uh, two of the valve guides have been replaced they look a little bit different than the other ones which are which are the stock ones the original GM ones so um, so this said has seen some uh, some drama in the past so I don't know if this has been resurfaced um, I'm not quite sure, but I did check it for flatness. You take a straight edge and you check it at this angle and at this angle, and you can take a feeler gauge and put it underneath the, the straight edge several places, and you can check it for, uh, for flatness. So we have cleaned this thoroughly and degreased it with brake clean. Okay, and then over here, we have the block. Now, the uh, block's ready to go. This surface has been cleaned with brake clean. And then I also took denatured alcohol and cleaned it. And um, how you can tell if it's clean is you put the alcohol in your rag and just dampen it and keep wiping, keep wiping, and keep looking at the rag. When that rag comes back clean, you know that's clean. So um, if, you, uh, if you see any little bit of darkness or grease or dirt on the rag, you turn the rag over or you get a new rag, you get a new, you know, Denatured alcohol and you clean it again and we keep doing that until when you're done The rag comes back clean now one important thing we got to make sure we do is we got to make sure these are in Do not lose these whenever you pull the motor apart. These are your uh, cylinder head dowels This locates the cylinder head and also the head gasket See we already have one in up here And our second one goes in right here and this is on the intake side of the motor for this particular motor you can see how we got our oil holes radius. Those come out real good, just a little bit. We, I mean, I could have, I could have taken and polished this all up in here and everything, but I don't think that's going to make that much, um, uh, that much of a difference. The oil is going to flow down and be and flow, flow down to the, you know, down through the head and then flow down into the oil pan very, very easily. That's going to make it a lot easier instead of having that sharp edge where it has to crust and then, then pour down through. So. The next thing we got to do, well, here, let's show you this. This is our Felpro head gasket, and there's our part number, 9515PT. That's your part number. Now, the cylinder head bolts, and we're going to take you through a couple videos to do this to do this, um, this cylinder head, but um, I don't want to make these too long. But the cylinder head is fastened with 10 fasteners, 10 head bolts, and uh, there's two short ones and eight long ones, and they get different torque readings okay and besides the torque readings they're also torqued in sequence an additional some of them are tor torqued 90 degrees some of them are torqued 60 degrees extra so what I did is I got this little guy right here a little protractor and I set it at 60 degrees now 90 degrees I can eyeball that, that's that's pretty easy I may use this to set you know to, to get my 90 degree settings right now it's set at 60 so the idea would be to, you know, you have your cylinder head bolt, I take a sharpie and put a line on it, I lay my protractor down, and then wherever 60 degrees is, I put a dot on the head, and then all I have to do is turn this until the line and the dot matches up. Pretty simple. Okay, so the reason why that's so important is, and you can, I've eyeballed these in the past and never really had any trouble, but um, for this particular motor, I want to show you really the right way to do it. So we're going to use the protractor. Now, the reason why it's so important to use this is just a one or two degrees difference is going to make an enormous difference in the torque that that head gasket sees. We want this to seal. We don't want to, we don't want to blow the head gasket. Quad fours are known for blowing head gaskets. I personally have some some feel. I have some personal feelings about that. Um, these motors are kind of high maintenance. If people would change their um, the antifreeze about every 24 months, maybe 12 or 24 months, it probably could have eliminated most of the head gasket problems that uh, that these motors have. But um, that's not the way society works, and that it is what it is. But uh, 
Um, with this motor, um, we're not going to have those issues because uh, once the season's over, uh, I drain all the coolant out of it and then it, it, it'll stay moist in there, but there's no coolant in there to, to actually age. So uh, the following year, I flush it with, with clean water and then put new coolant in it and then we'd run it again. So um, be, just be aware if you're building one of these for the street, um, about every 24 months you want to change your, change your antifreeze because the antifreeze does become acidic. And uh, you're looking at 90s technology with this stuff and 90s metallurgy. And um, metallurgy with new motors like the Ecotec and, and whatnot, aluminum blocks, you know, aluminum heads, they've come a long way from, from the, the days whenever we use those type, those type of... Uh, of uh, cylinder heads. <laughs> so um, now one thing it tells you in the instructions is we're going to put one drop of oil on the threads, just one drop, and one drop of oil underneath the head, the head of the bolt. And this is act as a lubricant here, and of course the, the oil is going to lubricate the threads so that we get an accurate torque reading. So each one of those will be, you know, I'll drop one drop of oil on each one, and then put it down inside and, and tighten it down. So that's what we're going to do, and uh, we'll save that for the next video. But um, I wanted to show you all this as uh, kind of a lead up to actually putting the cylinder head on. So uh, hopefully you found this interesting, and uh, next time uh, next time you see me, uh, we'll be putting that on. Well, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do everything. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.